Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting off where I left off from my previous video, which was the mini little guide on how to cover up your eyebrows and create drag eyebrows. On top of that, I'm going to start off by adding some white paint all over the lids and right below the brow. To be honest, I still don't know what I'm creating. To be honest, that's the fun part, is just seeing where your hand just takes you when you have the brush and coming up with something different. So we'll see what I come up with, which you can already possibly tell by the thumbnail of the video, of course. But you know what I mean. All right, next step that I'm doing is I am creating a very large wing liner on both sides first and then I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow right after that. So I'm only doing a voiceover for this little section here. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much again for watching my videos. If you haven't done so, please like my video and videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thank, thank you friends. And then I'll use Executioner on top of that. But let's see how that looks together. Right above the red. 
gonna blend them in. And I kinda wanna add some more colors, but we'll see. If not, I can just throw the black. together are so pretty. Now because I've covered my eyebrows, you have layers of glue, powder, concealer, foundation, or whatever you use to cover your brows, I pat on the eyeshadow right where the brow is. So it really covers everything and it doesn't look patchy. Then I go back in with the lightest shade, which right here is the red. And then I'll just blend that out. So it has that softer blend, not that harsh line that you're seeing now because of the purple. Same thing with the black, if I was doing this instead of, um, if I was using the black shade instead of this purple one, I would go back in with the red again just to blend those two together afterwards. So I kinda like that. Now, right above this one, I'll go in with the black. Now obviously because the black is super pigmented, I don't use a lot. I literally just dabbed the brush right on top of the eyeshadow because it picks up a lot of color already. So you don't want to add so much black to where it covers the purple. You obviously want to show some of that purple. And now the trick for this side is you're gonna have to use, or you don't have to, or you can always just wipe this one down. That way, at the very top, you can just blend that out. Now also, before blending it out, use a lighter shade foundation which on this one is the Your Majesty. Just to blend that black line on top and to give it a much more softer look. Let's see. And then we're gonna go in with the red, just to blend these two together. So it doesn't look super harsh. Also, now what I like to do here, I like to bring in any color that I'm using. I like to bring it down underneath the eye. There you go. There you go. So this lighting is like terrible. Boop. Go back in and just add a little bit more purple here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it upwards to where the black 
is there you go well since that's blending out I'm gonna pen on the purple up here. Alright, there you go. Good. Yes. Much better. Alright, so on this eye. I think I'm gonna use, like I said, that color, the Vile Serpent, which is this one here. That one. Right on the lid. And then I'll do the black on top. Oh, I'm wrapping the Mexican and Italian colors right now. Thumbs up if you're Mexican or Italian. The red, green, and the white. No, I'm not either one. But I am not a, but I don't discriminate to wherever you're from. Kudos to you, honey. <clears throat> yes, girl. Oh, so pretty. I swear on the camera, it looks so much lighter. It's this lighting. you guys so I decided to use pink magic on this side just to switch it up a bit and add, add it over the red I think that kind of brings out
Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go in with some white paint. This paint is from Mayron, which is my absolute favorite face paint that I've used for a very long time. I'm just going to go in and fill in the parts that are white, which is this, 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 here, and here, and there, here, here, and there, and there, back there, and don't forget the ears. And yep, I'll be right back. Alright, you guys, so I went ahead and filled in the teeth also. Now, never forget to set any kind of paint you're doing so it stays on the skin longer and it lasts, well, so it lasts longer and it sets better. That way it doesn't smudge with any other color. Excuse me. Just grab any fluffy face brush. So now I'm just going to fill in the gaps in between the teeth with black, set the whole face with powder so it lasts a lot longer, okay? Alright, so I went ahead and did some more outlines, well I darkened the outlines, so what I'm going to do now is go in with the same brown that I used for the brows to go through the shadows on the face, and then I'm going to use a darker brown, and I'm going to use the one from this palette, Urban Decay Naked Reloaded, I'm going to use I think I'm going to go with the shade Endgame, you guys can see that, just to deepen like any shadows and then add some highlights on there to give it some texture.
All right, you guys. So I went ahead and added a bunch of shadows everywhere. Some highlight on there. I did something a little different with the liner too, since I went with a spookier look, just to give it a dramatic eye. I'm gonna fix that one, ill. Make that one sharper. Now, the last thing I just need to do is throw on some contacts and some lashes. We'll add some lashes to see how the end result looks. <laughs> oh, and some white paint on the neck for some pictures after. Actually looks pretty cool. See, and that's the thing about me. I, I to be honest, I just paint. That's the point of being an artist is just grabbing a brush and painting on whatever you feel like painting. And I'm missing Halloween. <laughs> so with something spooky. And because I haven't done something like this in a very long time since I started my channel, but all those videos are gone. Perks of having no mustache. I can finally draw my teeth better, but I miss the mustache. Anyway, I'm gonna go throw on some lashes and the contacts and we'll see the end results. I'll be back. All right, you guys. Threw on these contacts and these lashes. These lashes are from Lash Me Up on Instagram. I think it's Lash Me Up underscore, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it down below. And then these contacts are from the infamous downtown LA, which is where I'm technically from. Korea town and they've lasted me for a long time already I think a little over two years and they still feel comfortable they don't bug me I do clean them so that's why but what do you guys think this is the final look about to paint the face and throw on well paint the face and take some pictures I actually really like it wow Did you get scared? You guys want to meet my my son? This is Sky, everyone. Hi, yeah, baby. Say hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. I'm hungry. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this look. Let me sit this down. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this random look that I decided to create. And if you guys can do me the biggest favor, just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And if you have any recommendations on any looks or products that you would like me to use, leave those down below so I can check them out also. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Oh, and if you wanna check out some pictures of this look, Go to my Instagram at Andrew Bivaldi. I'll leave the link down below also. Bye, you guys.